<laughs> Good morning. Yeah, happy Sunday. <laughs> what a beautiful morning to be alive. <laughs> well, <laughs> I I just recorded this whole uh, <laughs> monologue, and it wasn't even taping. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Mercury retrograde. <laughs> so here I am on another, another take. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, good morning. <laughs> and uh, welcome to my world. <laughs> now, um, I just wanted to tell you I had uh, finally my last uh, yard sale day yesterday, and it was pretty crazy. I had... Uh, I think 13 people and made $32, so it was a long uh, day. I guess uh, everybody's having their final Labor Day weekend party or whatever going on because it was like a beehive out in the world, but not in mine. Uh, it was a pretty slow, lonely day, but it was all good. So um, anyway, you know, I wanted to talk today about... Um, you know, pretty serious, uh, but uh, I take it with a grain of salt, but about lies and denial, because, um, you know, we live in a world where people are in denial about a lot of things, you know, because they've been um, lied to, huh? and they don't want to accept that, they don't want to admit that, because their education, their indoctrination, their belief system, in their practicality, you know, doesn't give them that um, wiggle room. So they'll fight to the end, tooth and nail, defending. Even if they, even if in their heart they know that they may have been misled or they might be incorrect, they just don't want it to look stupid. Nobody wants to look stupid. Now, yeah, you know, I, I was 10 years old when uh, Kennedy was killed. I watched the very first live murder on television when the, uh, Jack Ruby shot uh, Kennedy. Now, um, this was pretty profound at 10 years old. And here we are 54 years later, and they're just about to release, you know, they're starting to slowly release some of the documents. Now we'll see how much truth gets revealed at this point. There certainly have been everybody. As a matter of fact, it was the Kennedy assassination that the CIA came up with the term conspiracy theory. That's what that's what totally prompted it, because they were going to make anybody who questioned the official story, you know, into a conspiracy theorist. That's how it works, folks. So this goes on with everything. I mean, we've been lied to in our country, and I know in every other country, I'm sure, about the um, demonstrative ways of the government, the um, ways that we've been uh, duped in so many different um, areas of our lives. You know, we are mentally, emotionally, uh, financially enslaved, you know, really from the get-go. You know, we've been lied to about every war. You know, we've been lied to about uh, the whole um, uh, earth um, and how the whole system works. We've been lied to about 9-11, Oklahoma City, you know, uh, cancer treatments. We've been lied to about so many things. So is it any surprise that urine therapy is also put into these categories? That, you know, you drink your pee and people think you're a fool, that you're out of your mind. Because, hey, you know, did you ask your doctor? <laughs> I'm not asking my doctor anything anymore, and he knows it. On my last physical, which was in July, he goes, well, I guess I'll see you in a year. And the reason he said that is because he knows I'm not taking any more drugs. He's not going to give me any more prescriptions. And he knows I'm drinking my own pee. And... um I have to go take a physical every year if I want to maintain my medical. And um, there's no reason not to maintain my medical in the event of a serious emergency or this, that, or the other. So I just leave that where it is. But I'm not being, uh, I'm just not willing to be lied to anymore. You know, I went through all the stages of, you know, uh, confusion and anger and depression and, and, and grief and, you know, all of those things. But now I feel really open, uh, real free. And, 
you know, it was a big uh, shift uh, for me. I mean, I started looking at things, like I said, like when I was a child, I started questioning everything. And I continue to do so today. It's not like I'm a theorist. I'm a realist. And I'm willing to do the extra mile, the extra homework, and to, to look into things, to see what the real story is. Because everything is put in tidy little sound bites. And we're given misinformation. And we're head, you know, we're pushed in wrong directions. You know, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Huh. That's how it really works. But, you know, I feel free. And P has helped me get there. Realizing that I was lied to about um, the moon landing and, and uh, what the earth represents. That was freeing. It angered me at first. Because, God, how many more things am I going to be lied to about? I was lied to about so many things. But it doesn't matter anymore. I'm not angry. I'm actually free. I feel so much love. I just want to share that shit. I want to give my free love away to everybody and anybody who's willing to accept and receive. I don't impose that. I just allow for people that want to still live in their lives in denial. Now, we see it a lot in urine therapy. It happens all the time. You say certain things, people jump in, and they just have to go off and, you know, trip on whatever they're tripping on, you know, to prove you wrong. You know, the urine's a waste, and it, it, it'll harm you, and, uh, you know, there's nothing to back it up. Well, you know what? Bullshit. There's 5,000 years of recorded history to back up this information. And there's about 130-some years or more of Western medicine that has provided that same documentation. So it's not just ancient history. It's contemporary. And it's in journals. It's in medical science. They use it against us, really, quite frankly, in chemicals, uh, in, in the pharmaceutical, in cosmetics, in medicine. It's widely used, but it is isolated. You know, ask a urologist what he thinks of what urine is, and he'll tell you that it's the purest, most sterile thing that you can get. <laughs> it is. Now, if, uh, if, if uh, pee is a waste, if your urine's a waste, um, and it's dangerous, and it's full of all this stuff, you'd already be dead because it's in your blood. <laughs> Figure it out, folks. You would be already poisoned you'd already be dead. So I'm just telling you, you know, do your own homework. Do your own research. You know, be willing to be humbled. You know, you may be righteous about your beliefs, but you could be incorrect. It's real possible. I know I was. And I'm willing to accept it when I've been fooled. I am. I'm willing to humble myself. And hey, I've been taken for granted. I've been taken advantage of. You know, people call me like Pollyanna, you know, that I'm simple-minded or this, that, and the other. Hey, I don't care what people think. I really don't, especially about me. It's none of my business. It's how it rolls. That's how I roll. You know, but I'm a happy guy. I have a lot of love. And huh, I've cured myself. So I don't care what anybody else says. Hey, I was gone um, right out of the gate, man. Ten days, I was already free of arthritic pain. I stopped taking all my meds. I was taking anti-inflammatories and muscle relaxers and painkillers and um, had uh, uh, steroidal uh, sprayers for COPD and blood thinners and all this crap, man. I was taking all this stuff by the fistfuls. No more. Ha <laughs> ha, I just drink my pee and rub it in my body, do my enemas. And everybody has their own routine. You have to figure out what's right for you. You know what your situation is, what your condition is. You know what your living situation is. I mean, there's people that are doing this that their partners, their husbands, their family, nobody has a clue what they're doing because they're afraid of being shamed. And that's sad. You know, that's a, you know, but their willingness and their courage to do it anyway is, is a testament to uh, who they really are.
regardless. You know me, I'm a free spirit. I'm a free person. So I don't care what people think. I don't. I'll drink my pee. I'll do my enemas. I'll rub my body. And I'll, I'll let people know right up front, right out loud. I even printed a business card just so I could show people how to cure themselves and be free. But that's me, folks. You know, what you do is up to you. That's not my job. It's none of my business. But I love you. <laughs> I do. And um, I wrote a little piece this morning uh, that kind of shares some of these thoughts. And so I'm going to share them with you now. <laughs> and it's called This Opened My Eyes. This Opened My Eyes. How many lies have we believed that we're willing to defend by what we've perceived? When our knowledge is proven wrong, do we stay in denial or change our song? I discovered that it was true, that I had been duped. How about you? So now I know better, and I totally see that I can heal myself by drinking my pee. Now this opened my eyes and restored my hope to find I could be healthy without surgery or dope. This is important for those seeking cures when what they are doing just leaves them unsure. I know it seems crazy, but try it and see. P is a remedy, and it's totally free. And I love free. You know, a lot of people have a lot of different ideas about what free is. And, uh, and I like free. Some people think if it's free, it's not worth it. Me, I think there's a great price. <laughs> but it's also good in, to be a free thinker and free at heart and free in your emotional body, and free in all of your spirit. These are all beautiful ways to describe the word free. So, with all that being said, I do hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous day, and that it's full of love. And uh, spread that shit around, because love is a cure as well. So, uh, Keep your peace together, and boom, you've just been loved. Uh -huh.